Alrighty folks, welcome back to Laura Lie and the Laser Eyes. Last time we finally unblocked ourselves and it was by calling a number that <laughs> I didn't realize I had for any reason to call. Was that last time or was it the time before? I don't remember. But uh, it was recently and no, I think it was the time before. Um, but we then started opening up the card doors finally uh, and... Oh yeah, we got cassettes from some of them and we got information from some of them. What should we do first? Should we do the cassettes first? Let's do that, sure. Where am I? So I'm on the second floor. So if I go this, oh, I can't go this way. Okay, if only I could jump. <clears throat> so I, am I taking the cassettes to, the, to my room? Where the cassette boxes are? Uh, up this way. <clears throat> Is that the idea? I don't think it gives me a prompt though. There's no cassette set, though. It does give me a prompt, okay. All right, artist video cassettes. Okay, well a lovely video. Glad I'm watching this. Oh, I totally see. <laughs> okay, hold on. Eject the tape. <clears throat> I totally see. Uh, what's she doing with her head? Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left, left, left. There's three lefts at the end. <clears throat> left, right, left, right, right. Left, left, left. Yep, okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Suddenly everything's coming together. Magician's video cassettes. Right. Oh, when am I going to write this? Uh, okay, I need to start again because I don't have room. Uh, okay, I found room. I mean, I guess I could wait for it to finish, but this seems faster, maybe? So, what was it? It was right. Left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, <clears throat> I've got right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, left. I think I got that. I don't think I need to double check. <clears throat> so. Uh, we know where we take that. Don't I have a quick way from here? I do have a pretty quick way. This way. Oh. Okie dokie. It's just on the opposite side. Over here. Uh, okay. You can go first. Right. Left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, left. Ta da! <clears throat> a note. It is wise to look inside a head. His head is mine and my head is yours. How else could a dead man write letters? Magic and money make miracles. Oh, we've got a bunch of dates as well. <clears throat> Born on the bad signs, yep, okay. Um, uh, and the dead walk again. They want me to look crazy, but I can assure you I am not. I have to write this or they will hang us all for violating the aesthetic distance or perhaps give us an award for the best effect of the year. <clears throat> Some kind of effect? Verfremdung. Um, 
I would like to thank Santa Lucia and Mamon for this award. It is a miracle. I know you only came here for clues, but I have to play this part. So on the note of miracles, we must consider virgin births. We should all be entitled to them. We are all equal here, fictional, alive or dead. Hallelujah and happy birthday. The, cru the crux of this tomato soup is sadly that we are all born under bad signs. <coughs> uh, it's making me think of the Sopranos theme song. Born under a bad sign with a blue moon in your eye. Is that how it goes? Something like that. April 1st, 1798. September 2nd, 1807. May 11th, 1924. January 28th, 1932. Okay, we can look that up afterwards. <clears throat> okay, so then for you, it's left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, left. There we go. More dates or not? <clears throat> yep. I tried looking inside her head for the answer just like you, but I cannot trust her. A mess cloudy than the ocean. Her journal is locked. We only know, okay, we only know that she died 116 years ago. I asked the moon for answers, but it gave me several dates. Okay, so the astronomical clock and the other one and the, and the journal are these two separate puzzles, I think. Uh, April 7th, January 10th, we'll look it up afterwards. Perhaps time is so broken here that they could all be correct. Something terrible must be happening. Okay, yep, everything's suddenly coming together. Once I've been staring at a bunch of puzzles for a long time, um, once you see the clue for that puzzle, finally, you're like, oh, okay, I know exactly what this is because I've been staring at it for a long time. Um, so then, okay, so... One of them is on the second floor, mm, but you have to go down and up again. Well, I don't think you have to, but I am. Okay. <clears throat> so, journal. Let's consult that thing that we just got. Uh, is it a note? Yes. So we've got April 7th, so many notes on my board. Um, let's get rid of that, that's done. Okay. <clears throat> Just erasing stuff from my whiteboard <clears throat> that I don't need anymore. Okay, that's done. That's definitely done as well, okay. I've still got notes from like when I was doing the memories and writing down what was in them. Okay, so we've got April 7th. I've, st I've still got my uh, license plate number on the whiteboard. April 7th, Jan 10th. It's Jan, I need to make that clear. Uh, June 23rd, Feb 22nd, Oct 2nd. Okay. <clears throat> and now this is just a look up, I guess. Uh, books, do, 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 lunar phases. So we've got April 7th. I guess, do we do it in that order? We do it in order of the year. I guess I'll do it in order that it's that it was written on the letter for now. April 7th. Uh, so, okay. So the, I'm going to draw the dark parts, okay. Even though that doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever, that's what I'm doing. Uh, January 10th. Okay. Uh, June 23rd. Half moon. Uh... Wait, that's, that's January 23rd, what are we doing? Oops. June 23rd, June 23rd, <clears throat> it's a, so I guess, because I guess, I'm looking at the dark part, but I think the other part's the bit that matters. So it's a waxing gibbous moon. I don't think it matters whether it's waxing or waning. February 22nd, uh, okay, half moon, 
is it waxing or waning? It is waxing. October 2nd. Hmm. Uh, this is a also waxing gibbous moon. Is that right? October, October 2nd. The, no, I looked at the wrong one. I think I looked at 22nd. Um, the 2nd is a waning crescent moon. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, let's see if they work in that order. Um, uh, this. 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 Yay! That's a fun input system. Now we have an entire journal to read. The pages are out of order. Of course they are. Wednesday, January 6th, 1847. I cannot help but believe that his journey has been a long one. Beneath the oily courtesy thumps of a broken thump sorry, beneath the oily courtesy thumps a broken heart. This is the end of the road for him. I left my jewellery box open to test him, but it is left untouched as I thought it would be. I know what he is looking for. I've never seen it, but I know it's here. But I will hold him to his word. He must cure me. Right, this is the other side of that story. Which is an absurd notion. He claims that my eyes are dying because of lack of entertainment. That is his medical opinion. He showed me an endless series of images on his erythrotrope, few of which I could see what they represented. It was amusing, but became tedious after a while. Still, I played along. Next, he'll treat me like a miracle tincture. He calls vermilion. He will treat me with a miracle tincture. He calls vermilion tears. I suppose him failing to cure me somehow will be an empty victory. So that was January sixth, eighteen forty-seven. So this is going to be connected to the the because we've got the symbols connected with the days of the week, haven't we? as well. <clears throat> Although I don't know where that goes right now, I'm not sure. So January 6th, January 8th. They seem to be in order, don't they? Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> Seven journeyed in silk robes and tattered rags and gilded wagons and on bloody souls. Sister Moon, Brother Mars, Brother Mercury, Brother Jupiter, Sister Venus, Brother Saturn, and Sister Sun, their red eyes searching for what they had lost. <clears throat> Right, there also there's the seven brothers. Is there a connection there? Cosmic words spoken by the magician as he made the shadows of his long dead brothers come alive on the walls in an act of true magic. I could see them travel in gilded wagons on the first roads built by man. I could see them walk on bloody souls through endless scorched deserts. Their red eyes forever looking to the night sky in search of what had been lost to them and forgotten by the rest of us until now. I've lived all my life in the proximity of a cosmic beauty without ever knowing. It was right there in my father's maze. I thought it was a simple treasure. Father's maze? <clears throat> okay. I thought it was a simple treasure, but it is much more. Entity, God, element. The human language is much too limited to describe such a thing as the eye. Um, <clears throat> is it the eye of the universe? My stranger, no longer a stranger, my stranger, no longer a stranger, was surprised to find it. I think he had given up on his dream, but it was here. He wept at great length afterward. His eyes were now, are now, now like roses. He warns me to be cautious. Why is he so fearful? He cannot deny its power for long. <clears throat> two, two days later. Eyes are meant for gathering nuts and scanning for wild beasts. Human eyes look but do not see. Art demands vision, and the artist must not be held back by eyes. Tonight I will make my ascension, I will fade into the crimson and become matter. I will not be an artist, I will not be art. I will be the raw material, I will be magic. All left of my earthly self will be, ro be a rose. Okay. <clears throat> so this is Monday, January 4th. So this is before he arrived, probably. The winter sun came out today. I painted the garden the most... Generous colours, I could see its beauty, but all detail had been stripped. Mother Nature only deigns to show me drawings from her sketchbook. Soon I will not even see the outlines. Will I be even lonelier in the dark, I wonder? I spent the evening in my studio. What I paint now will soon be unseen, even by me. <clears throat> right, the artist did die in 1847. But then the story is that 
somebody got pushed. Did I get? No, I didn't get pushed out the window. No, the artist got pushed out the window, but it's a different person in different dates. I, okay, there are definitely things that don't add up for me in this story. Quite a few things. The artist is only 30 years old, I just realized, when she dies. <clears> hmm. <throat> um... Thursday, January 7th, 1847. My eyes have been reborn. Everything is new again. So that's between... Yeah, okay. <clears throat> My eyes have been reborn. Everything is new again. My eyes are those of a child. I have forgotten beauty. The magician was as surprised as me. He never thought that a million tears would work. The cure was the most excruciating pain I've ever felt. As the drops fell in my eyes, it felt like my eyes boiled like eggs inside my skull. At the end, it felt like I was a pot of boiling red pain. But thank the eye... Then, my first colleagues appeared before me in a vision. Mere apes like me, they painted a crimson maze on a cavern wall, the very first piece of art. Their red eyes met mine in quiet understanding, an ancient conspiracy was shared. How long was I sleeping? Am I allowed to write about the maze? Am I allowed to write about the third eye? Am I allowed to write about the red beast? Words cannot do them justice anyhow. <clears throat> Okay, back again. A knock on the door. The miracle has arrived. In his hand, a red rose, which he handed me. But I have seen the likes of him before. Treasure hunters and thieves. This one must be the sorriest of the lot. Was it pity I felt in my callous heart? Now he warmed his wet and malodorous feet by my... My lodorous feet by my fireplace, my very own mysterious stranger, among the many things he calls himself as an optician and an illusionist, although it, though it is clear that he is little more than a sideshow magician. This house and I could certainly use some magic. <clears throat> January 9th. The magician is afraid of his hat. Truth truthfully, he is afraid of everything. Is it because his eyes are old and tired? Or is it because he is not a true artist? I am still fond of him, but his gloomy chatter interferes with my work. Things have started to appear in my house. Objects and rooms and fantasies. Soon there will be a theatre. The magician believes that we are still in the maze. He is wrong and right. I have been there, there since I was a little girl. We saw me. All day we could hear the sound ticking. The magician and I searched at length for the clock. Its hands had stopped moving, yet time passed. We have lived for years these days, yet we are not getting older. My wrist aches terribly, but it is not from the never-ending brush strokes, not age. If I do not control myself, I paint. Art flows through my veins now. It is wonderful and terrible. Can I write about the maze man? I think I know what he is. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Bunch of info from that. Um. <clears throat> what else did we have? We had... Potentially for the uh, so there's, there's some information about the well that was talking about the days of the week so yeah each day in that where was that books someone's journal <clears throat> so it goes Wednesday Friday Sunday so maybe the order it's the pages are is like some ordering I've got to do somewhere. I don't think that's connected to this because this is the zodiac signs. Uh, so I think that's connected to the other one that we did, which was um, be a note, note in the male mannequin. <clears throat> yes. So April. Okay. So these years. Yes. And these are the years of their births. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Finally got it. April first. 1798, so this is the magician's birthday. We finally got more positive. <laughs> I think about birthdays instead of death days, although it's under bad signs, so maybe it's not. September 2nd, 1807, so that's the artist. May 11th, <clears throat> 1924, that's the man. And then January... Like I don't refer to them by their names, I still just refer to them by how they were first introduced, sort of. Uh, 1932, which is The Dreamer. It's me, I think. <clears throat> okay, so then I just have to map those to the right signs. Uh, no. There. <clears throat> So, for April 1st, we have, I mean, I guess I could look this up outside the game. April 1st, we have Aries, okay. 
looks like that. For September 2nd, we have uh, Virgo, same as me. Uh, it's like an M with a little flick. Uh, then May 11th, May 11th, we have Taurus, uh, which is like that. <clears throat> then January 28th, we have Aquarius. Okay, finally, this is going to be resolved. Here we go. Uh, so the outer one is the one I called, 1798, which got me unstuck. So that's that one. So that needs to go to the very top. Okay. The next one, they're probably in order. It says 1807. Yes, it is. Uh, that's going to the M with the flick. Uh, May 11th, uh, 1924. 1924 absolutely is. It goes to... Oh, it was already there. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. And then 1932, I assume it's right, 1932, yes, goes to there. And we finally solved that puzzle. Oh, it's funny the tray comes out just to catch that. It's pretty funny. Cylindrical object. Interesting. Oh, this will be connected to the mausoleum, the gravestones. Maybe? Wait, hold on. Were they, maybe they were, oh, it stays here, I don't take it with me. There's seven of them. This is days of the week, isn't it? Yes, absolutely is. Mars, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so combine the two things that we just did. Um, that's fun to have them kind of branch out and come back together again. <clears throat> Books, someone's journal. So it was Wednesday. Friday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Saturday. Okay. <clears throat> I'll know some of them, but not all of them. So I might, we have it in our memory though, don't we, somewhere? I'll have those. But they were like, um, Paintings. Maybe I have to go up to it. Let's go up to it. I'm, I'm nearby. <clears throat> in here. So I think they're in order in here, aren't they? So that'll be... Oh, so that's Monday, of course. Uh, oh, so we do actually have to... Okay, so hold on. Are they in order? Uh... Moon, Mars is Tuesday, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Sun. Ah, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Sun. Okay, so uh, Monday, so Wednesday is the, yep, okay. It's that one. And then Friday is that one, Venus. And then Sunday is the circle with the dot. Monday is the moon. Thursday is the four. Tuesday is the Mars. And then Saturday is the whatever we want to call that. Sure. Okie dokie. 
Right, there we go. It feels like we're coming to the end of this game, doesn't it? Like almost all the puzzles are going to be done soon. We've obviously got the maze to finish and a few more rooms to go into. Which, what was that doing for us? That was opening the puzzle boxes, which gives me the information to say to the old woman. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, that was the one. Oops. That one. Uh, that one. That one. Are they in order on here? They are, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, so I didn't really have to go and check. I guess that's the moon. Four there. That one. And then the weird one. Oh, I went past it. That one. Yay, another key. What's that a key for? Oh, do we think for the... Okay, let's go to the mausoleum. How's my bladder? I mean, I can drink. Hmm. <clears throat> There's three things in them, like there's three graves that need something, so... But then there is a door there. Does the door ask if I want to do something, like take an item from my inventory? It might do. Hey friend, sorry, I've got business over here. No, it does not. Okay, so... Second and last, the youngest to pass. Third and fourth, one who met fate after 40 years. Sure. What is this one? Okay, well... But the, the, the puzzles I just did was kind of associated with everybody. Oh, do I just do this in all of them? That seemed to not do anything? Or did it do something? I have no idea. I can't tell whether I'm supposed to do this to all of them. Because it's not doing the rejection noise, so maybe this is working? No? Okay, so there's something more to that. Let's have a look at the thing. Yep. Uh, Trefoil knot, the triketra. Uh, three corners. The symbol is used in many religions and its meaning varies. Holiness and wisdom. Iron age, 250 years old. The key is considering the complex mechanism that's concealed in, the great lengths need to go to find it. It can be seen that it unlocks the door to an extraordinarily secluded place, such as a crypt or a secret underground tunnel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So in some way it's this. Oh, oh, I get it. I totally get what we're supposed to do. Okay. So I think I've got this written down. I do. So um, so it's me first. I need to know which one's which. So, uh, no, I'd rather not go in. So that was... That's the artist. That's the man. And then this is me. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got it. So let's leave, because I don't know if you need to reset it or something. Um, so, me first. I do already have this written down on my whiteboard, because I already solved it. <clears throat> then it is uh, the artist, which was this one. The youngest death. Then it is the... Oh no, I might have mixed these up. No, I haven't mixed these up, this is fine. Then it's this one twice. The 40 year span. Hmm. It's not quite 40 years. Hold on, am I mixing something up? Uh, whatever. Um, then me, then the artist. I think I've got this.
Oh, okay, hold on. Let's double check this. Second and last is youngest to pass. Yes, the artist. Third and fourth. So the two middle ones. One who met fate after 40 years. Although it wasn't 40 years, it was 39. First and fifth, she who lived in two centuries. That's me. 20th and 21st centuries. First and fifth. That is what I did. Hmm. So the confusing part is the years for you. It's not actually 40 years. I mean, it's close. Like, is it possible age-wise? Uh, no, it's not possible that you would be 40. Yeah, of course not. Okay. Uh, That does make that confusing. So is that the, the trick that actually... That actually third and fourth are me again? That would seem random. That feel really random. But maybe it's a bit tedious to do this. So I kind of want to know what I'm doing. Second and last, the youngest to pass. Definitely the artist. The man was 39-ish. The artist was 30. And I was 70, 82. Second and last, the youngest to pass. The artist, yes. Third and fourth, one who met fate after 40 years. Well, a bit less than I guess me. First and fifth, she lived, also me. Should I assume that then? Okay, so first and... Maybe I just mixed something up as well. I don't know, maybe I just mixed something up. Did I? I don't think so. So me, <clears throat> so the next one would be the artist, and it is the artist. And the next one's the past after 40 years, so I'm gonna go back to me. If this is the trick, it's kind of evil. Because I did pass after 40 years. It's me twice, then me again. So we just don't use the other grave? That also feels weird. Then the artist. No, so not that either. Hmm. Did I get it wrong the first time? Did I just type it in wrong? And by type, I mean insert the keys in the wrong order. I guess I should try it again just in case I messed up. <clears throat> like we'll do the original one. So me. Wait, let me, do, okay, let me double check these. Description circles. Second and last, the youngest to pass. Yes, the artist. Third and fourth, one who met fate after 40 years. Well, sure. Um, first and fifth, she lived in two centuries. Yes, okay, so do I need to reset it again? I don't know if that's even necessary. I'm also not sure does that reset it. Uh, okay, so this one. That's me, then the artist. Then, the dude. It's not 40 years though, that is the weirdest part. Then me, 
and the artist. Maybe I just have this wrong. I guess I just have this wrong. Hmm. I guess so. All right, I guess we're not doing that now then. I thought we were gonna unlock it. I hope there is a secret passage in there. I wonder where it goes. Have we still not? No, I was gonna say, so in the like first floor there's, oh, Sorry, the cellar. Ah, ah. There's this, these stairs here. I was thinking, have we still not been there? But no, we have, because those were to the ladder that we dropped. Okay. Um, okay, so we're not doing that now. So next time, folks, um, let's uh, go back into the maze, the, the quiz maze, whatever we call it, the, the land of quizzes, uh, and we'll see what happens there. All right, see you then, folks. Goodbye.